exist. And as we saw in the simulation, when we decreased the sunlight to nothing, then the ecosystem eventually collapsed. And the only place that there was anything was carbon dioxide up in the uh, upper atmosphere. So that's my claim. I think Sims do end up augmenting hands-on. And what I noticed with The Sims is as I was going through and using The Sim and going through the workbooks of how the kids were supposed to, I was like, this is what I always wanted out of a lab. If you kill the decomposers, or if you just like minus the amount of them that there are, then there'll be less organisms to break it down, making the uh, energy storage molecules not be there. And then that makes us carbon dioxide in the air, which makes everything else be affected. Within the first um, lesson of every chapter that the kids are just exploring the sim. So for me, using a sim in my class is like complete engagement of like, hey, just play. <laughs> The lesson that I did today, I was noticing that a lot of my students had a misconception. They were like, oh, you need sunlight for this, not this. And I was like, wait, go back in the sim, reset it, turn on the sun. What is happening? Is this impacting cellular respiration or is this impacting photosynthesis? And so the sim actually helped me clear up that misconception that I was noticing. And cellular respiration not only releases carbon dioxide, um, but it also releases energy. So even though plants might be doing photosynthesis, they also need to be performing cellular respiration. The sim actually had the kids like um, coming to their own on it, and I was directing that, but it wasn't me standing at the front of the classroom and just dictating to the kids. They're having conversations, they're using vocab, they're, they're talking way more on topic than they would if you were just standing up at the front of, of your classroom and just lecturing. I love that Amplify allows me to like get around to my classroom and like to hear those rich dialogues that our students are having around the phenomena that is presented to them. Yeah, and the secondary consumers and the primary consumers. Which One part of it? Two. Okay, so decomposers, producers, consumers, yeah, pretty much everything but dead matter.